This is at home with Miss Joan. I thought I'd show you my quick supper recipe. Uh, you may have it too, uh, called uh, Crescent Chicken. And uh, it's so easy, it's good for like a quick supper through the week when you're just running everywhere. And you can have it ready in the refrigerator if you want to with some tight saran wrap over it. You pop it in the oven or you can make it in just a matter of minutes and I'm gonna show you how. All right, first thing I do, I guess I do everything that way, is I just spray my pan because I'm gonna cook it in this like nine by 13 pan. And uh, it takes uh, crescent rolls, chicken, can of cream of chicken soup, and uh, milk. And some people put cheese in theirs. And that's all in the world it takes. Now, I was going to pre-pop these before we started the video, and uh, I didn't. So here you go. Hold your ears. <laughs> all right. Anyway, you open up a can of crescent rolls after that you've sprayed your pan, okay? This is just the, what I call the generic uh, crescent rolls. This is the Great Value brand. You go to Pillsbury, make some, lots of people do. Okay, anyway, and I'm gonna take some chicken and I'm gonna, there's eight pieces of roll in here, so I'm gonna make eight servings of crescent chicken. All right, they look a little strange and a little strangy, but it's okay. All right, I've told y'all to go ahead and have plenty of cooked chicken already in your freezer and you can make a ton of chicken dishes in a matter of minutes. Or you might want to use canned chicken. And they make the canned chicken in just a little flat can too. Because it doesn't take much chicken for this dish. In fact, I'm, I just pulled out one of my frozen chicken breasts. And I'm going to see, probably won't even use all of it, watch. I take about this much right here. Your family might like a lot. Ours don't like a whole lot of chicken in there. All right. You start on the big end and you roll it up. This is sprayed that. I just put it down in my dish. See? Take me a little chicken. Start on the, you know, it's a triangle. A crescent roll is a triangle. So start on the big end of the triangle and roll it up gently. Look there how pretty that is. This is another one of them things where people think, oh, she cooked us a good homemade from scratch meal. You can see just how easy that it is. All right. All right, we've got six made. We've got two more. I don't know how long we've been going here, but you can see just how quick this is. If you got your chicken done or you've already got some chicken. Now, uh, you could use one of those, what is it called, rotisserie chickens. You know how some people buy them and they uh, pick the meat off of them and use it in different dishes to, for quick. Look at here. All right, you see, that one chicken breast is going to serve eight servings of uh, crescent chicken. I'm going to uh, create a little uh, quick sauce. We're going to pour over this, pop it in the oven. That's all we're going to be to it. All right. And what the sauce is, is nothing but a can of cream of chicken soup and milk, okay? So like I said, we use chicken and crescent rolls, cream of chicken soup and milk. All right, I'm gonna mix this together in this bowl. Uh, some recipes, if you've got this, says heat this on the stove and then pour it over this. I don't do that. I just stir it up real good right here and pour it over, it bakes and you can't tell it hadn't been heated on the stove first. All right, calls for a can of cream of chicken soup and that's a 10 and a half ounce can. And it also calls to fill that can up with milk. I use any kind I got. This is skim milk today. If I'd had canned milk, I'd have used it. I'd used half a can of canned milk because it's stronger, half a can of water. All right, I'm gonna take my whisk here and just whisk it up. It sure is pretty outside today. Preacher's been working in his garden. I'm, I'm slinging this everywhere. All right. Add the rest of my milk. Can of cream of chicken soup and a can of milk. Now right here is where you can stop and put some salt and pepper. Not a lot, because it seems like cream of chicken soup to me is a little salty and pepper. And that is all there is to it, to this uh, gravy or this 
sauce that we're going to pour over this. You hear my stove? Oh, yeah. We keep hearing some kind of humming in my oh, videos, and it's my refrigerator. I got a really old refrigerator, and it's loud. But preacher says we're not going to replace it until <laughs> it quits. So, all right, here we go. Now, I'm just going to pour this. See me? Make sure every roll gets some of this on there. Now, these rolls are going to swell up a little bit, too. That's why I got them a little bit separated. Now, look at here. That makes a wonderful gravy. Now, oh, I, I call this crescent chicken. I told you that. Some people call it cheesy chicken, but I put so much cheese in all my dishes, I don't ever put cheese on top of theirs. But if you've got some uh, cheddar cheese or your favorite, you can cover the top of it top of it with cheese. We don't. We just eat it like this and we love it. To me, it gives it more of a little bit of a chicken dumpling taste if it don't have that cheese covered on it. But anyway, I'm going to put this in the oven on 350 degrees and I'll uh, show you in a few minutes uh, the finished product and tell you exactly how long I cooked it. Uh, my recipe says 30 minutes. Like I said, it's quick and easy with just uh, chicken breast, crescent rolls, cream of chicken soup, and milk. And it's your choice if you want to add cheese. Okay, here it is. Look here how golden brown, and it did take 30 minutes on 350 degrees. That is so good. And like I said, you could have topped yours with a, a shredded cheese. And this is going to be our supper tonight. It did take me just a few minutes to get it done. It's hot, and it's just going to be so good. And all I'm doing is I'm having some string beans, oh, French cut beans on the side, and then we got some salad. And uh, my homemade Thousand Island dressing, which I'm going to share that recipe for too long, how I make my homemade Thousand Island dressing. But anyway, uh, crescent chicken, or if you cover it in cheese, you can call it cheesy chicken. But it sure is a good, quick recipe and a wonderful meal.